Yes. Where are you? Oh, just oh, kajiri. Oh, just, hmm? oh, just kajiri. Where are you? Huh? You left the light on. Put the light off, please. Here. Shut the stop. Uh-huh. Oh, just and his mom. They've been here since December. Tahin's ba? Yeah? Tahin's ba? So she doesn't always have very much patience. And so trying to build into her life and help her have more patience and with her son. Um, I first came to Kazakhstan in 2000. It was at the same time that uh, Victoria was coming. And we were on the same delegation. I was from Indiana, she was from Virginia. And uh, gosh, you know, I looked at it as kind of one of those humanitarian vacation kind of things where I was going to go for a couple of weeks and uh, go to the orphanage. And when I got here, I just absolutely fell in love with the country. I fell in love with the people. And, um, I was working with children back in America at a residential treatment facility. And when I got back home, my level of satisfaction with my job went way down. I was like, oh, I just want to go back to Kazakhstan. And I just saw the need. I saw the, I saw the kids' faces. I saw, I just saw so much that could be done here. Um, and so I decided to quit my job. Well, uh, Peshpo Medi will, uh, Shilik, uh, Kak, uh, Kraska, Kraska, Ushin, Ili, E Taga, Taga Munkin, Taga Bar, uh, Shilik. You get a starry, E Ili, Mojbi Tazak, Starry Tazak, yeah. Well, we actually, uh, Victoria and I have both independently have had a dream about um i i called it a ranch she called it a farm but since both of us were little we've had this idea and this dream of providing a safe place for children and so when we worked for the previous organization we would talk a lot of times about the kids that we um, have known for a really long time and uh, we talk about what we could do for them we talk about um, how we could um, provide a home for them and the previous organization, a good organization, but they, um, that was probably too big of a project for them at that particular time. And so we, um, as we, the more we talked about it, the more we decided that we're just gonna go off, we're just gonna do this. We've gotta give it a try. So in the beginning, we put it out to uh, friends and family that this is what we're gonna do. We have a couple, we had a, a number of families that, that were really supportive of us and they kind of helped start us. So, um, and believed in the vision as well. So they, they kind of helped. Um, the first couple of months of being back was, was a little bit challenging at times. There were times where we didn't have a salary because there just wasn't any money to pay a salary. And um, there, wasn't, there was enough money to stay. But um, as the work has grown and more and more people have gotten involved and interested in the work, uh, we've got a lot of supporters from the states who have adopted children from Kazakhstan and they remember what it was like for their children and they want to see a safe place be given for orphans as well as single moms. And so there's a lot of people in the states that, um, and in other countries as well, and there's a number of supporters even here in Kazakhstan that have said, look, we believe in what you're doing. We want to help either with material goods or clothing, uh, food, uh, volunteer work, and financially as well. Chips. 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 Chips.
Uh huh. We have the guys. Let's get Kantuda. Tortu. You got money, or you want me to get money out? Um, I think so. I need to. Get my ass America. America. Mm -hmm. America. Uh huh. America. Uh huh. Send uh -huh. uh -huh. I can take it. Uh huh. I have huh. I have some. Oh, you got it? Ah, Oh, We didn't ask the ball during this. So, ask the ball. Dine, uh, menau dine. We buy Nike. Uh-huh. Okay, I... Okay. Oh, I gave it to her. So sometimes people do come, not normally to Taraz anymore, but... So they assume, and then people still think we're selling children or trying to sell their organs sometimes. My name is Nikita. How old are you? I'm nine years old. Who am I? Uh, Appa. Appa, uh huh. Come on, Max. You know Kanat. Can you come say hello? He's so tall. Yeah, he got so tall. Hello. Why do you guys all have hello. cuts uh, on your lips? One boy, he bites, bites and you have. You have a black eye. What happened? You have a big mark on your neck. You uh, have a bite on your neck. Uh, that boy is biting and he bites here, here, and me here. Ah, He's Vera. Vera. Can't they problem again? Men, men, Jesus, they miss. Men just sin, but it's a kill us as a midnight. Can't they problem? Sitting down, they miss. Men just. Oh, the information, kidding. Did you have a bad day? Do you know who did this to Max and Nikita? No, not Nikita. Well, what happened to Nikita's lip? Boy, huh? He told me. Oh, he was playing long boy. Me. Oh, that's not. Accident? Okay. This is, it's not an accident when a he child tell bites. Me. He can't tell me. <laughs> okay. Sally wasn't very sure of me. She stayed away from me for a while. And then um, I kept on trying to get her to look at me and talk to me. And then we became buddies, yeah. And then um, she wasn't a favorite of the orphanage people because of her, um, the, her eye and her left foot um, at the time. And one day I walked in and Sally jumped into my arms and she said, when are you going to find me, my mom and my dad, and fix my, get my face and my foot fixed? So at that moment, she captured my heart because no other child has ever asked me for, to find their, a mom and a dad and all the orphan kids I've worked with. Um, 
So that was 2009 or 2010, actually. And um, so we've had a relationship ever since. And she got to go to America and have surgery. And so now I'm very thankful that she's here as a foster child in this home with me. Two girls were in the child's home at that time. Then she went to the house of Victoria's bed. She said that she was like, she's hard, she's hard, she's hard, she's hard. And they took me to the house. This house really is for moms and their children. It's for them to have a start. It's for them to be able to um, be in a safe place and that they can become not only productive members of society, but they can also be able to give their children what they need so that the next generation doesn't have to repeat the same mistakes that their mothers made.